squad what is up happy friday it's your boy pino e here and i'm back with another one before we jump into today's news let's take a look at what's dropping tomorrow and remember to check the description for a few links i was able to get together first up the lining way away christmas drops tomorrow on wayaway.com with a retail price of 165 dollars concepts is dropping two pairs of the concepts reebok insta pump fury exclusive to concepts cambridge and new york city locations along with the concepts website retail is 175 dollars each the air jordan 3 wolf finally makes its appearance at 7 a.m pacific tomorrow morning with a retail price of 200 dollars and these can be found on the sneakers app along with the foot sites also releasing are the Air Jordan 11 Night Maroon for $220. This pair also releases at 7 a.m. Pacific. It can be found on Nike.com and the foot sites. And I've added a few links for these in the description below. Let's not forget about the Dornbecker collection. The Nike Janoski, designed by Corwin Carr, releases for $125. The Nike Air Max Zero, designed by Chase Swearingen, releases for $150. The Nike Air Max Zero, designed by Shayala Hyatt, has a retail price of $130. The Nike Air Hirachi Ultra, designed by Braylon Soon, will drop for $115. The Nike Kyrie 2, designed by Andy Grass, retails for $120. And the Air Jordan 7, designed by Damian Phillips, releases for $190. Now, these pairs will drop on the sneakers app tomorrow at 7 a.m. Pacific or 10 a.m. Eastern. It will be a first come, first serve release and they'll also be available on the Shoe Palace website. And of course, we have the Black White Easy 350 version 2 dropping for $220. You can find some links in the description below. And no, I don't know what time Adidas is releasing them because it's a random drop. So make sure you're following Adidas Originals on Twitter. And good luck to you all tomorrow. I don't know why New Balance is making me do this, but we got more trash from them and their collaborators, Norse Project, and what they're calling the Danish Weather 2.0 Pack. Made of a Gore-Tex upper, they're good to keep water off your feet, and that's about it. And these are available now for $190 at select New Balance retailers. We're going to move over to Puma, but before I talk about this shoe, I want you all to pause the video and let me know in the comments if you know who the Puma Clydes are named after. Welcome back, and what we have up on the screen are the Mida Sneakers Puma Clyde Collabo, which features a picture of Walt Frazier on the US $1,000 bill. The Puma branding on the lateral side of the shoe gets some bedazzled jewels thrown on it, while the branding on the medial side of the left shoe is in orange and the right in blue as a nod to the New York Knicks. You can find these dropping on December 22nd at select Puma retailers. Switching over to Adidas, and first up, we got the Adidas Superstar Cork Toe Pack. The pack includes women's Superstar 80s, which are constructed of premium suede in either core black or pale nude colorways, which both feature a cork shell toe and they sit on an off-white outsole. You can find these now at select Adidas retailers. Expected to release in spring 2017 is the Adidas Originals EQT Support Turbo Pack. This pack is made up of four pairs of shoes, two in the EQT Support ADV and two in the Adidas EQT Support RF Silhouettes. And all four pairs will feature black, white and turbo colorways. The date hasn't yet been set for these, so stay tuned. Now these are dope. The Adidas Harden Volume 1 Christmas comes dressed in a white and clear onyx prime knit and leather upper that sits on a full white boost mid, white outsole and features Zeno accenting. If you ask me my opinion, this is the best colorway to drop on the shoe to date and I'm hoping Adidas keeps putting out dope colorways because this model has potential. Anyway, back to the shoe. This pair retails for $140 and they drop on December 20th. And last for Adidas, we have three colorways which have finally been confirmed for 2017 of the Adidas Yeezy 350 version 2. I don't have the exact dates for these yet, but it's believed it will be the first half of the year. Although with Adidas, things move around a lot, so make sure you stay tuned. In my opinion, the Zebra pair, best pair we've seen yet. Over to Jordan brand and first up we have a look at the Air Jordan 1 High in a yin and yang pack. Both pairs are constructed of perforated leather with a leather Nike Air tongue tag and embossed wings logos. The pairs are nearly triple black or triple white except for the outsole which is mismatched with the uppers. You can expect both pairs to release sometime in February with a price of $160. Today we also got the official look of the Air Jordan Retro 3 GS Real Teal. The pair comes dressed in a black leather upper with gold and real teal accenting, a metallic gold jumpman on the heel, 
real teal mid and a black outsole. These will be available in extended grade school sizing and they drop on December 24th for $140. So, if you were happy when Jordan Brad said the Air Jordan 11 suede would be a global release, you played yourself. They never said it was going to be a general release or how many stores globally were going to be selling them. And today we found out that if you want a pair, you'll have to be in Chicago at the flight store. For the lucky few who managed to get these, they will release on December 23rd for $400. And that brings us to the end of today's video. You know how it goes. If you enjoyed this video, and I hope you did, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe, join the squad. If you have something to say, leave it in the comments below. And I'm out.